good all, uh, like all good uh, Mac files, please judge me only on my use of an iPad and not the content of my presentation. <laughs> so, my name is Charles Terrell. I'm a product manager with Prometheus Research. Tonight I'm going to talk to you about autism and the implementation of a research data management platform used to support data collection and collaborative research called Sparibase. So we're going to begin talking a little bit about autism. Autism is a highly complex disorder with no single root or cause. Previous studies have not been able to determine a single genetic cause for autism. And it is expected that the cause lies somewhere in a, uh, a multi-gene interaction. The sheer complexity of this disorder eliminates the possibility that a single researcher or a team of researchers or a laboratory can find the cause of autism alone. This means that we need larger studies with more participants and more researchers. Some have dubbed this big science or research 2.0. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Simons Foundation. The Simons Foundation is the number one private source of autism funding uh, in the United States with $43 million per year going into autism research. The mission of the Simons, research, uh, the Simons Foundation Autism Research Initiative is to improve the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of autism and related developmental disorders. So who are we? Uh, I'm from Prometheus Research, found in New Haven, Connecticut, with close ties to Yale University. We specialize in building web-based solutions for data management systems for human biomedical uh, researchers and scientific collaborators. Our platform is the basis for supporting the Safari infrastructure uh, and Safari base. So let's start talking about the, uh, the Safari Simplex collection. The Safari Simplex Collection's primary goal is to establish a permanent repository of genetic samples from approximately 3,000 families with a single child with autism. Genetic samples are extracted from these families, all the members of the family, and a collection of phenotypic data is performed. So there's a battery of clinical assessments that are applied. These 3,000 families come from a series of 12 different uh, university-affiliated research clinics uh, where all the data collection and the samples are drawn. These materials are then made available to approved Safari researchers via an integrated research repository entitled Safari Base. Now a step-by-step walkthrough of what Safari Base is. Safari Base begins in step one with the collection site. With the collection site where the staff site collects over 8,000 data points of phenotypic data about the participating family through a battery of clinical assessments and questionnaires. In addition, biospecimens are extracted from the participants and sent to a genetic repository where mortal cell lines are derived from and form a perpetual, a perpetual biomaterial replication. Once the site is satisfied that the family meets the strict criteria for inclusion in the SSC, the family is submitted to Safari Base during the submission process, the family's data is stripped of all protective health information, therefore meeting the standards for HIPAA compliance, and then the data is synced to Safari Base. Once the data is collected, a team of separate researchers perform over 2,000 automated checks for data integrity and inclusion-exclusion criteria verification. These experts ensure reliability and uniformity of diagnosis and data collection across sites. Once the data is clear, it is ready to be distributed to outside researchers. Uh, approved autism researchers can then access the data repository and request DNA samples from the collection at the uh, at Rutgers, which is uh, the the data uh, the the biospecimen repository. Safari Base offers numerous tools for data extraction and evaluation, including HDSQL, web-based uh, query language, which serves as the basis of our entire application uh, and data syncing platform. When a researcher receives biospecimens or phenotypic data from Safari Base, she agrees to submit her research results back into Safari Base within one year. So this is kind of unique to Safari Base. This allows Safari Base to become a self-sustaining research repository with a completely growing data set, even after the direct collection phase of Safari Base is completed. So what are the benefits of, a, of an integrated system like this and Research 2.0? Well, the SSC's data uniformity and quality standards ensure that the downstream researchers can reliably select subsets of data based on specific phenotypes from a full set of participating families. The SSC uses a single centralized database. 
And then finally, this database is then accessible to a broad range of researchers across the nation who do not directly participate in the initial collection. So it becomes self-sustaining and broadly accessible. Of course, with all great benefits, there comes equal challenges. So there's always the challenge, the, the challenge of HIPAA compliance, where we have to de-identify all the information and make sure that we're constantly vigilant against getting uh, any names or social security numbers mixed into any of the data. We have to ensure the data is collected from the multiple sites and that it is uh, of high integrity and that it meets the strict inclusion-exclusion criteria for Safari Base. And finally, once all everything's said and done and the researchers then want to resubmit into Safari Base, we have to work on the results submission coordination and making sure the data fits into our data model. So the take home message is that clinical researchers are extremely smart people that can tend to have a very particular way of doing things and can be quite demanding. However, as these individual researchers are forced to collaborate for the greater good, new strategies must be employed to manage this dynamic and variable research landscape. Safari Base is a great example of a vision for large scale research. From the ground up, Safari Base was designed to support a unified data collection in a centralized park or repository, allowing for broad accessibility while facing the various challenges of big science. Systems like these don't happen by accident. That's why researchers need people like us who worry about these details while they find the cure for the world's most prevalent disorders.